the Department of Education is glad to offer some resources and supports um, for those in our schools and districts. And today we're going to highlight a resource that's specific for leadership. So we're offering this professional learning support today around these topics. So we're going to be taking a look at the curriculum design and implementation guidance. There's actually a module there and we're going to highlight that for you today. Also a book study, Clarity for Learning, and also the Building a Culture of Learning topic study, as well as some implementation guidance documents. So we're going to be highlighting those for your edification today. This first one is really designed for um, school and district leaders, instructional supervisors, instructional coaches, those who are really a part of the planning uh, process for developing curriculum at the local level. And so it is our curriculum design and implementation guidance. And this is where we captured the learning from our March leadership meetings for you. And we did so in such a way that you could still get some of the same learning experiences that were a part of those March leadership meetings. The purpose for this professional learning module is it really focuses on building an understanding of the role of standards curriculum and instructional resources. And then it's going to provide you an overview of the phases of a curriculum development process that you could use at the local level to really translate the standards into a guaranteed and viable curriculum for our students. And it really mimics the process that is outlined in detail in the new revised model curriculum framework that was released earlier in March. In addition, it provides an overview of the toolkit that we have created of resources to support the work in doing that curriculum development process. To access that, you would go to kystandards.org. You know we would take you here all the time, and you would click on your standard resources. Under general resources, you would click on professional learning modules, and you need to scroll down the page just a little bit until you see what's now up on the screen. There are three pieces that belong as a part of that module. You'll see the recorded video that Jackie and I have provided, and built into that video are opportunities for you to kind of stop, uh, respond to some questions on a graphic organizer that's in the materials section, um, and to do a little bit of reading to again kind of experience in a way we did in the March leadership meetings. The second thing you're going to see is a link to the PowerPoint. And then finally, that last one is a link to the Google folder that contains all of the materials that you will need as a part of that professional learning module. The second resource we would like to highlight is the Clarity for Learning book study. And this is a book study we did last fall, and it was so popular. We had like over 300 educators that were a part of that, that the feedback was they wanted that packaged in such a way that you could facilitate this at a school or a district. So this resource as a leader in your school or district, you could do it yourself to build your own background, but you could also use the resources to facilitate a group. The purpose of the Clarity for Learning, it is based on a book of the same name um, by John Almerod and Kara Vandis, and it's perfect purpose of the book study is to really focus on how teachers can gain clarity um, through constructing learning intentions and success criteria and then how they share that level of clarity with their students so that students can help or can identify where they're going, how they're progressing and where they will go next. So the entire book study is focused on really addressing two questions. How can clarity improve teaching and learning and how does clarity serve as the foundation for other powerful evidence based practices? This is just a snippet of the Clarity for Learning book study um, plan that you can access, and I'm going to show you in just a minute where to do that, and you will see all of the resources that we utilize have been captured within this learning plan. And again, you can take it and use it exactly as is, or you can use pieces of it that fit your need for your school or district. Um, last fall, that was the book study we did, but this spring we're wrapping up our second topic study, um, and it is called Building a Culture of Learning and really a focus on the role of PLCs in continuous improvement. The purpose of this topic study was to really look at PLCs in depth so that we could develop a common understanding of the benefits and the work that defines the PLC process, the role of school and district leaders in supporting PLCs, and then finally what it means to be a teacher in an effective PLC. The reason we call this a topic study is instead of an actual book, we utilized a lot of different articles, books that are book excerpts, videos and other resources from leading educators. You can see the format is much the same as what we showed you for the Clarity for Learning book study. And again, you can utilize all of it or pieces that fit your need. And for the reading assignment, you'll see those are links to the different texts that we utilized. 
To access both the book study and the topic study, go to KY Standards, click on your standard resources. Underneath the general resources, you're going to click on professional learning opportunities, and you will see we have an arrow pointing to each of those. And when you click on each one, it would take you to the PDF of the learning plan that we showed you a snippet of just a second ago. And then Jackie's going to share one more uh, resource with us. Thank you, Miss Kate. And this resource is the implementation guidance documents. These have been really helpful as they've been released uh, for, for several weeks now. And folks are beginning to dive in as they're thinking about their standards implementation because it's there really to assist schools and districts with knowing what resources are available from KDE to support different stages of standards implementation and also how where to go next. What are the next steps? We are also very proud to say that these are updated as new resources become available. So this is a living, breathing document that we add to and uh, make meaning of those as new resources um, are available. So we want you to know that, that that's always going to be out there. We have this example from math for you. So you'll see that it's laid out. These are only two of the questions. I think there are four questions in each one that when folks look at this, they can like that second question is asked, I'm new to the CAS for mathematics. Where do I start? So that's way early in implementation. So if you were to ask that question, then below that are some steps and they're recommended to be followed in that order. And what you'll see is here's the first thing you need to do is to read, you know, mathematics standards at a glance. And the link is there, the resource is attached and everything is hyperlinked together so that everything is right at your fingertips. And that's what I mean by updating those resources. So when new things are available, we add them where that's appropriate. But you can find those not only for mathematics, but you can find them also for reading and writing, science, and social studies as well. To find them, you go again to kystandards.org and you'll be at the Standards Resources button. When you go there, you're going to click on the very first one under General Resources. And we think that's a very appropriate spot for that icon, as this is one of the first places you would want to go as you're thinking about your implementation when you're asking those questions or you're guiding a school or a district with this implementation. But once you click on that, again, you'll see what areas are available and you click on those and you'll find um, the specific resources to each of those content areas. So we thank you for joining us for supports and resources for leadership.